Beetle Black, folks. Uh, welcome and a little bit more truth and data sharing for you. That's why this number is so realistic and so true. That's a view number count, and if you've noticed your counts, they're always going to look real legit like that. So you know that's an actual factual count right there. Whether it be 600,000, 600, 6,006. 600, 6, pick a number. Hey, flip that upside down. It's 900. And anyway, this is for all the power, money, and control. The only reason there's one vote is everybody that was paid to say that my videos ain't no good, they all did thumb down at, at the same time, and it was a computer glitch. Ended up making a mistake. So I'm just helping those government officials out there that basically, whether it's private or whatever, cover their ass so they don't lose their job because they're all supposed to make sure that you know, black looks like poop all the time. Well, the truth always bleeds through. So anyway, let's go take a look a little bit of information. Let's take a little bit of information and some data. 2006 to present. You can see something there. You look and read. And then the idea that refereed means a refereed. doesn't mean referred. Okay? And if they even spelt it referred, it means refereed. Because only a certain amount of people can check shit out. Now, I think things are loosened up because everybody wants to know the truth. Everybody's getting sick and tired of the lying sacks of shit. So, anyway, you can go ahead and see here. So, the most important thing is I'm going to take you and show you this. I just should be able to just pop back. And if you pay attention, take your time, and that means you have to watch my videos a little closer. So, let's pull in on some truth here where the idea that I've been mentioning and telling everybody that I really do think Titan is the top poop and basically your eyes will not lie to you and I don't give I doubt it's a mistake so I don't give a rat's ass about anybody anybody that needs to work for the government or gets to play with the telescopes and everything and wants to brag about themselves more than what they should be looking at and paying attention to out there and explaining to people and messing with their tax dollars I don't give a rat's ass who anybody is so let me go to let me I'll be right back let me skew up what I needed to look at and this is my thing, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody that gets a little bit of fame for making a, some, a CAD drawing and bringing something up, I mean, come on. CAD's so easy. You click, click, click. You got a, you got a drawing, and this is what we... We got an idea, and we went over to the instantaneous uh, blueprint machine and click, 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 cut and paste, and you got a CAD drawing of what you need, okay? You go out and you interview people engineering-wise and ask them what they need and everything like that, and then you go play with software for a few hours like a video game, and boom, 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 and all of a sudden you're an architect and an engineer. Well, hunky-dory, I actually almost like the old idea where the idea the only reason you're an architect is because your family is richer than crap. So anyway, anybody that gets a bunch of fame by being an architect or whatever, I guess you got to promote and keep people working. I guess, whatever. He'll get bored shitless one of these days. So anyway, uh... Let's go up and take a look at what we got for, uh, and basically here's the truth uh, on the Titan. And yeah, they want to get a real good look, because anybody that's ever seen pictures of Titan, which look pretty damn realistic, I mean, if we can believe that that's exactly where they took the pictures at, and so forth and so on, and remember, they always play a big old three-card uh, money, three-shell game, where the idea that you really never know what name of this planet or that planet is, so... Anybody that over the history of when Titan was ever named and stuff like that and keep an eye on it, you want to keep an eye on Titan, okay? Because it is probably the only, I mean, would be the first planet that anything would ever, if we ever try to, I mean, we shouldn't even waste money messing around on the moon and make it look like we went there or go there. Or if we've been there back in 70-something, way later than what we were earlier, it don't make no big deal. I don't give a rat's ass. But the deal is Titan is the only thing, and all you got to do is use your eyes and look at the rock formations that are on Titan that we've seen with telescopes, and you'll realize it's about the only thing that we've ever seen so far, except for what they were probably seeing, which I could be wrong, but see, you got to have top clearance on that is whatever they're seeing through the Hubble telescope, okay? But that stuff is so flipping far out that the Saturn is the first, would be the first in anything that anybody should be wasting around. We should not waste one buck trying to occupy the moon, this, that, or whatever the hell. It would be just like trying to build everything on California soil right on the coast. The idea that attrition, eventually something's going to happen there. Okay, So Saturn's got a very, very, very high, big approach. And basically what I was mentioning a minute ago on that, on that person that ended up... Uh, 
catting a cover or something for the uh, telescope guys over there, and I'm sure they probably appreciate what he did and everything like that. Whatever, he gets paid. So you're there. All I know is everything they're doing is great over there at these every one of the telescopes of just about every country in the world and everything like that because they get great views. And they're always driven because you're always, you know, you can get up, go to work every day and discover something new. You know what I'm saying? It's the, like the last frontiers. So but there will probably always be another one. I really don't believe in black holes. And if there is, it's just another door to the other side of something. Okay. So uh, when they're looking at black holes, they really need to take a look at a lot of the stuff that they're looking at on. Uh, and they get mixed up with the idea. Everybody's always just because Einstein was so smart that, okay, there is a black hole. Okay. It's, it's probably just an entrance to something else, like a cave on a planet, okay, like ours or anything. So, anyway, now, we have uh, this thing going on with, uh, I think they're saying it's Cassini and so forth and so on. So, the idea that Titan is very interesting to keep observing what they're doing there, okay, I would say. And, yes, this is pretty much or orbital. And what we've been seeing down at the observatories down at, like, the British one and so forth, I think it's... Uh, starts with an M or whatever. We've been seeing that star cluster flop across that area for a long time. And we know that that sun is there in way more than one sun of the supergiants and so forth and so on. So it's, yes, good footage and stuff like that. And I'll see if I got time here of spewing out what I want to get off my chest and stuff like that. But I guess basically, they're just the truth. It kind of pisses me off when I go to a uh, United States library, ladies and gentlemen, and YouTube, you can't go there. You got to get like an adult key or something like that to go to YouTube, okay? I understand kids going to the library and everything like that, but, you know, there should be, I guess, an adult ones and this and that and everything like that. And basically, I'm just not a complainer. And so the idea that I complain in this way, I guess, just so that the whole whatever can listen to it, because it's pretty pathetic when the idea that kids can't, I mean, whatever, YouTube, there's, there's supposed to be parental controls if they're smart enough with their software, so... Eventually, the library will probably get it because there's certain stuff I really think that kids should go on there and look at, especially some of the stuff that I show in space or, you know, facts and data. You know, a kid should be allowed to know facts and data. If you got a kid that's 8 years old and they know stuff that 18-year-olds know and they got a brain and it's like a sponge and they can learn stuff, uh, they should be able to look at something. You know, I'm not talking pornography. There's always National Geographic <laughs> or whatever, you know, jokingly. But anyway... So, let's see what kind of we can put in here on facts and data besides sharing the truth, ladies and gentlemen. Just remember all the footage that we've shown, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't like someone, send them to Mars because you have seen the El Flamo that we get, okay? And even if it would take another three billion years or whatever and so forth and so on, my thing is the idea that it's usually always, and it's probably why we're sitting here, is because we're a little bit cooler. We are hiding out like in a rabbit hole. We're small compared to a lot of planets. And our temperature is just right. And if we go to just about anything like Titan, it would probably be cooler. Uh, Mars would be warmer, toasty, hot, way too flippin' hot, okay? So I don't even understand why anybody even has the balls to waste tax dollars by even looking that way, what we know now. And that might be what the big old turnaround is in everything with anything to do with control. But it, you can see that the idea that these are papers that get wrote, and these things are all wrote like in 2006, so laymen, as they like to always, the blue bloods and the BS and the power, money, and control always like to tell us that we are, which is a bunch of horse hockey. Uh, just watch out for psyops every day. It's always power, money, and control. Do this, do that, and so forth and so on. So you're an American citizen. So and especially if your family has given it's all for your country and you're a taxpayer. Uh, it's your country, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a U.S. citizen, okay? That's why you pay your taxes, okay? So ozone abundance on Mars and so forth, heterodyne and stuff like that, but why even waste the money? Because what we know now of El Flamo and Fuego on Mars, Mercury, and Venus, Jupiter, uh, and even though Jupiter gets to be real quiet, you know, and cool in the dark side a lot of times. So we should be very happy in our formation of Earth, let's just go run down here, since I'm in here babbling, I might as well give you some more. So these are all papers that you can end up cutting and pasting, more than likely look on and get online. And yeah, more than likely, if you cut and paste one of these papers and you can't read what's on it, there's probably some pretty god dang good information on there. And the, the basically the information, anything to do with Mars is totally ridiculous, because sooner or later, it's always too flippin' hot. No matter what our timetable right now of what's going on, 
And so I, I know I go a little bit fast scrolling through here and babbling, but the idea that you can always cut and paste if you're interested in space and you can get a good uh, paper that might really give you some good interesting information. But honestly, a lot of people learning and stuff like that, Mars is something to, and I'm not a government shill or anything, money and power and control, absolutely opposite is the idea that it's just realistically why would you be wasting your time looking at something that the idea that you uh, okay when we get done with this cycle then it's a good whatever they know 3,000 or whatever years make up a number for yourself to believe flip a coin gamble uh, to be safe to be there again for all, who knows how long but I really doubt it because I mean why we've seen Mercury and Mars El Fuego okay and also Jupiter so and the truth bleeds whatever so, like I say, if you got somebody you don't like and they end up having real estate there, there you know where you send your friends, okay? So anyway, I usually try to spell friends wrong because the idea that if you got a lot of money, folks, you ain't got no flipping friends. And I kind of like it that way. So anyway, uh, let's see what else we can look at here. And here you go, folks, with some more info. Uh, basically... I think that's a bunch of BS. And they well, I anyway, no matter what, I don't know why YouTube switched over to this software because they switched over early. I think to take a dry run on some people, or either that or was helping Kerasoft out, or this is Kerasoft crap. And a lot of us are pissed off because the idea that it is a phone call, folks. They're never going to be able to tread away. Your data line is a telephone call. You are not a media organization. You can get on and share with people, and you have a right because it's America, it's free speech. And see, we have ran into where power, money, and control is, this is our biggest civil war that we have right now. It's quiet, and there's a lot. There's always a civil war 24-7 for every year that you've ever been alive and your forefathers, okay? Power, money, and control, everybody's always trying to eat their way to the top. But we have a constitutional problem going on with right now where our media our propaganda is wanting to shut us up with from our freedom of speech and constitutional rights and stuff like that everything on the internet is a flipping private phone call ladies and gentlemen okay it's a data it's a phone line okay either that or the government and that's why we've always called it mob l folks if you're a brain from even way back Yes, the government owns it. Yes, we're going to spy on people because we're not going to let spies get away with spying too much in this country. We can't stop them all, okay? But that seems to be a problem with the idea that it runs into our free speech. And when we have a problem like that, then we basically just need to, anybody that is a foreigner needs to really have the normal that's already there, which if they don't realize it's there. If you're a spy in America, ladies and gentlemen, tough shit. We spy on you more than you spy on us. It's that simple. Okay, so now we are experiencing continued data processing. We know the software and stuff like that. And I'm not complaining about the company. The company I'm complaining about is the private and yes, not the Kerasoft on the military side. I love everything that they do. But on the private side, our constitutional rights and so forth and so on, power, money, and control and everything like that. Facts, truth are going to bleed out. CPM, RAD, so forth and so on. So... It's already out there. Everybody knows. I mean, for crying out loud, if you want to go back and keep lying to everybody in the world about uh, probably what? Uh, the big event? Okay. I mean, come on. It's history. This is history right now. You live history every day, 24-7, every day that you get up. Okay. Every day you sleep. Every minute you twitch. And then you're dead. Okay. So it's that simple. And you will shit and piss your pants, ladies and gentlemen. Eventually, someday. Okay, Beano Black with more raw data and facts and truth. So, uh, nothing's R-rated here. Total scientific project at all times. Even when little kids learn that the idea that, yep, you're going to poop and pee your pants someday, young man. Or little boy, girl or anything. Okay? Everybody goes, ladies and gentlemen. Nobody lives forever. So anyway, this stuff's getting pretty stupid and we can all see it. I mean, it's right here in orange. Okay? So the idea that uh, a lot of my people can't even talk, I mean, pe people that are just interested in facts and truth and data can't even share messages and so forth and so on about what's going on and so forth. Word of mouth is just killing everybody, it seems like, which is totally stupid if it's more free and willing. So that's basically the big complaint, ladies and gentlemen. So some data and stuff like that in, so in the next video or so, we'll take a look at what's going on down in Antarctica or whatever. Give me something you're interested in, I'll check into it, give you some facts and data on it. So everything's cool with Beano Black 24-7. So, uh, 
basically just uh, I think I'm venting for everybody in the country I think and everybody probably in the flipping world here so uh, and that's what we got to write constitutional 24 more more hated truth soon